Hi friends, welcome to PSE Collegiate English. Uh, in this, uh, this is the third part of uh, the previous question paper that we were discussing. Uh, so, in this uh, video, we would be doing from question number uh, 101 to 150, uh, and we would be in the coming videos we would be discussing the question paper. We would be discussing about the insights that we have got through this analysis. And in the later uh, video, I would be uh, discussing along with you the alternatives, the options uh, that were given and we would be discussing uh, the various uh, years of publication and everything. Coming to, uh, before uh, starting this question paper, there is a thing that uh, I would like to share with you. I would like to share my uh, sort of an experience that is, uh, even if you are not uh, covering uh, all the syllabus in much precision it is very important for you to at least know the summary or know uh, cover the entire syllabus in a run at least complete it uh, in just bits and pieces even that would give you idea to go for the options since it is a uh, uh, objective type uh, you can always you know uh, we can always come from uh, the gradual analysis to selective ones. So, if you know the work as an overall thing uh, without knowing the lines in detail also you can attempt questions. Since uh, TRB does not have any negative marks we can attempt all the questions easily. So, it is my humble opinion to cover all the uh, books that is prescribed in the syllabus at least uh, know it uh, from the summary base itself that would do you good even if you are not going into detailed study. It would be beneficial if you are doing the overall study. So, let us uh, quickly get into the question paper. Coming to question number 101. Yonder's a work now of that famous youth, the urbanate uh, who died 5 years ago. Here, urbanate refers to Raphael, the Renaissance artist born in Subino. That is what is written. Uh, it is Raphael, the Renaissance artist born in Urbino, the urbanate, right? So it is Urbino. Coming to question number one or two, Virginia Woolf's Mr. Bennett and Mrs. Brown uh, is a polemical answer to uh, Arnold Bennett's claim that the novel is in crisis due to failure of Georgian novelist in the art of character making. Coming to question number one or three, Lordly men are to earth overgiven is a line from Pisan Cantos. 104. The fourth aspect of Thomas's, uh, Thomas Eliot's mur uh, murder in a cathedral is the man who seeks supreme glories of sainthood. The fourth aspect, that is uh, the fourth temptation. It is also known as the fourth temptation. That is the man who seeks the supreme glories of sainthood. If somebody uh, dies thinking that the person might get sainthood, that also is a temptation. So, Thomas Beckett, uh, you know, he was about to fall into this temptation, but then uh, Christ somehow saved him. Coming to question number 105, New Englander, which occurs in the devil's disciple, is a term applied to the colonies of the East. Uh, 106, the poem, How Happy is the Little Stone, analyzes the life of a stone in much easier than the life of human being. 107, St. George advises Overt to learn from example of the failure of his later works and not his old age become a deplorable illustration of worship of false gods. So here um, the answer key has mentioned uh, two answers which is A and C. That is all that is associated with having an active social life and also it is about money and luxury. Here false gods mean false gods mean money and luxury also all that is associated with having an active social life. 108. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe's poem The Haunted Palace is incorporated into which of the following short stories? It is uh, The Fall of House of Usher. 109. Which of the following refers to the mixed race of blacks and Indians of Mexico in the novel By the Light of My Father's Smile? It is the Mundo, Mundo tribes. The, the, about the Mundo tribes the protagonist would be researching about. 110. The images used in the poem Rose of God are Rose of Bliss, Light, Power, Life and Love. 5. Question number 111. When Colonel Hutching, Hutchinson was preaching, Baka had uh, thought of wearing the Sahab's clothes. Uh, 
112 beneath if we have played through beneath it uh, we have played uh, though years may roll for your sakes shall the tree be ever dear torudath our kashrina tree uh, sets in a double commemoration the poets departed ones and the tree 113 Anita Desai's novels are existential in tone for they deal with the contradictions and predicaments faced by individuals in the struggle of life. Question number 114 The scope of child language studies have now been broadened to cover not only phonology grammar and vocabulary but also semantic structures of utterances. Question number 115 Horse is a a uh, hyponym of animal cockroach is a hyponym of insect in these two sentences animal and insects are super ordinate travel in the younger sort is a part of dash in the elder part of dash 116 first travel in the younger sort is a part of education in the elder part it is of experience coming to 117 Which one of the following rhyme schemes did Shakespeare use in most of his sonnets? Of course, Shakespeare wrote Shakespearean sonnets. So the rhyme scheme of a Shakespearean uh, sonnets is A B A B C D C D E F E F G G. Coming to hundred and eight, one hundred and eighteen. At a point of life, Hamlet could have easily killed Claudius, but he hesitates because. Claudius was praying for forgiveness. Match the following pairs: uh, Oberon with the pair of Titania. Uh, Oberon and Titania are a couple. Hermia and Lysander are a couple. Helena and Demetrius are a couple. Theseus and Hippolyta are a couple. Hundred and twenty. Now part us if thou canst. Dash challenges Dash with these words. Cleopatra challenges Caesar with these words. Which of the following sentences is true? Both are true. Both A and B are true. The two types of uh, notations are uh, phon- phonemic notation and and phonetic notation. Phonemic notation and phonetic notation. Uh, phonemic uh, notation is sometimes referred to as broad notation. and phonetic notation as narrow notation so both a and b are true coming to 122 uh, one of the most significant developments by linguistic uh, sorry in linguistics took place with the publication of chomsky's book in 1957 named syntactic structures it was the inauguration of tgg that is transformative generative linguistics the term ep- epiphany means Uh, here two answers are correct b is also correct c d is also correct creating an overwhelming sense of incarnations also without a medium through which the perceiver sees the object 124 uh, what according to aristotle views on diction statement second is correct so that is the metrical arrangement of words diction means metrical arrangement of words 125 In uh, Plato's Republic, uh, Book Ten, the interlocutors are Glaucon and Socrates. Question number one twenty-six. On the on his uh, fourth journey, Gulliver arrives in an unknown uh, land polluted by Hornims and Yahus. One twenty-seven. What reason does R- Lady Booby give uh, Parson Adams for forbidding Joseph's marriage with Fanny in Joseph Andrews? that joseph is a vagabond 128 the plot of robinson crusoe may be described as a version of the story of the prodigal son the prodigal son in which the son goes against the wishes of the family later comes back to them so that strange same structure we can see in robinson crusoe 129 the two places mentioned in wordsworth's poem the solitary reaper are arabia and hebrides I fear that nobody but myself would like the heroine. Identify the correct author character that the line refers to. It is uh, Jane Austen who said about Emma, the character, the protagonist of the novel Emma. One thirty-one. Uh, 
Uh, Eliot claims in his essay Hamlet and His Problems that Shakespeare owes the content of Hamlet to Thomas Kitts's The Spanish Tragedy. 132. Bolet. Yes, we are expecting Mr. Alholm this morning. He got to town in the night. From the above content, who is Mr. Anholm? From the lady and the sea. And who says to whom the above dialogue? Anholm uh, is a Bolet's former tutor and Bolet says to Ballasted. Question number 133. How many sacred yam Ezulu had already eaten and how many yams were in his hand and how many yams were left uneaten in the barn in Chinua Achibi's Arrow of God? Three eaten and one in his hand and eight yams remaining uneaten. Question number 134. Read the following statement and identify which of them are true. Only A and B are true. The narrator in Atwood's surfacing is seemingly unemotional yet is full of repressed emotions and anxiety. B. The body of the father in the lake appears to the narrator like the body of the child she aborted. 135. Those who enter within the regions of the great winter lakes in Canada are lost to summer. 136. The little parcel which Harriet brought to Emma contained a bit of a coat plaster and a stump of an old pencil. Coming to question number 137, identify the lines that describe the autumn season. Answer is to bend with apples the most cottage trees. 138. Whom did Andrea del Sarto consider not to be more talented than him? Donatello. Because in the poem, he speaks about Michelangelo, Raphael and Leonardo. He does not compare himself with Donatello. According to Ruskin, man's power is active and woman's power uh, is for rule. 140 match the following. Uh, Romola is uh, with Bardo. Romola, Bardo. A tale of two cities. Uh, Dr. Manet. Treasure Island. Long John Silver, Vanity Fair, Amelia Sedley. So here uh, the book uh, books are uh, books are given, and we have to uh, match it with the characters uh, present in the each novel. Coming to one uh, one forty one. So um, yes, now the remaining questions will be of uh, uh, general knowledge type or the current affairs type. Uh, so literature part is over. The remaining 10, 10 questions uh, will be of uh, GK. Uh, for uh, the upcoming exam, uh, we should uh, be prepared, I think, uh, from the sections of uh, Olympic uh, medal winners and also Paralympic medal winners, questions might be asked. At least uh, one or two questions we can expect. Coming to 141, what temperature are Fahrenheit and Celsius equal? It is minus 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, 142, in a class of 45 students, a, a boy is maths. A boy is ranked 20th. When two boys joined, his rank was dropped by one. What is his new rank from the end? It is 27th. It's pure maths. 143. Who wrote the novel Kaval Kotam? It's S. Venkateshan. 44. 144. Article 21A and RTE Act came into effect from uh, on uh, 1st April 2010. 145. Quit India movement was lodged in response to Krupp's proposal, history. 146, first state to fix minimum education qualification for cooperative body poll is Rajasthan. Uh, 147th question, uh, who uh, won the gold in both uh, 5,000 5, and 10,000 meter event in 2017 Asian Athletics Championship? It is Lakshmanan. 148, the parliament can make any law for whole or part of India for implementing international treaties without the consent of any state. Politics. 149. Uh, in uh, which of the following temple, the front mandabam is in the form of a huge chariot drawn by horses. It is uh, the Rasuram temple. 150. And the last question. Uh, here, um, rivers are given. Narmada, Godavari, Brahmaputra and Tapti. Which of the following is or are flowing into Bay of Bengal? A and C. Narmada and Godavari are flowing into Bay of Bengal. So, with this, we have come to the end of uh, the question paper. In the next video, I would be doing uh, the insights 
that we received from this previous question paper and uh, on what should we base our study. So I would be uh, trying to lecture you for 5 minutes or 10 minutes about uh, what to expect and how to prepare for the upcoming examinations. So uh, this is it for now. Thank you so much friends.